Hey everyone, um, happy Thursday. Hopefully you've been able to enjoy some of the nice weather we've been having recently, even though today was a little bit showery. Um, we are back in Habakkuk. Um, I will be going through chapter 3, verse 1 through 15. Um, I'm going to also try to keep this a little bit shorter, um, mainly because even though this is a prayer um, that Habakkuk has to God, it's also heavily um, historical, so there's some references to some prior things that have happened um, in the Bible and prior things that God has done um, both to and for his people. Um, so I'm just going to dive right in. Lord, I have heard the report about you. Lord, I stand in awe of your deeds. Revive your work in these years. Make it known in these years. In your wrath, remember mercy. God comes from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. His splendor covers the heavens, and the earth is full of his praise. His br brilliance is like light. Rays are flashing from his hand. This is where his power is hidden. Plague goes before him, and pestilence follows in his steps. He stands and shakes the earth. He looks and startles the nations. The age-old mountains break apart. The ancient hills sink down. His pathways are ancient. I see the tents of Cushion in distress. The tense curtains of the land of Midian tremble. Are you angry at the rivers, Lord? Is your wrath against the rivers? Or is your rage against the sea? When you ride on your horses, your victorious chariot, chariot you took the sheath from your bow. The arrows are ready to be used with an oath. You split the earth with rivers. The mountains see you and shudder. A downpour of water sweeps by. The deep roars with its voice and lifts its waves high. Sun and moon stand still in their lofty residence at the flash of your flying arrows, at the brightness of your shining spear. You march across the earth with indignation. You trample down the nations in wrath. You come out to save your people, to save your anointed. You crush the leader of the house of the wicked and strip him from foot to neck. You pierce his head with his own spears. His warriors storm out to scatter us, gloating as if ready to securely devour the weak. You tread the sea with your horses, stirring up the vast water. So as I mentioned, it a lot of this has some historical reference. Um, and from what I was able to research about it, because uh, Truthfully, I couldn't tell you what this was all t saying, what it was saying. Um, so I did have to do some outside research. I looked at the Bible Project. I looked at some other um, short devotionals that were done specifically with this book. Um, and so I looked at Right Now Media. I looked at a couple of other things um, just to kind of help me. Because... Um, we're not perfect. We as leaders need to do some of our own research. We're not always going to know what we need to say. Um, so sometimes we just have to do what we can. Um, so from what I was able to gather, um, is specifically in verse, verse 2, it mentions about God's wrath and remembering his mercy. Um, so we all know what his mercy is undeniable and it's all powerful and he gives it freely. Um, but he he's not in... The, in the Old Testament, you also see a very wrath and vengeful God. Um, he won't always just sit back. Um, but we also have to remember to keep our faith and to trust in his plans. Um, 
one of the things that I found was um, that he'll undertake the people's cause and he will give justice. Um, and I had mentioned some of the historical references. Um, this particular passage specifically references the exodus from Egypt um, with Moses and, and the Israelites. And it mentions specifically the parting of the Red Sea. Um, we see that here in... Um, In verse 8, um, where it mentions victorious um, chariots, and then it also mentions in verse 10, the deep roars with its voice and lifts its waves high. Um, so lifting the waves high is what parting the Red Sea. Um, that was one of the primary historical references that I had found having been mentioned. Um, and it goes with what's later in the passage. Um, when I was looking up specifically what to um, teach you guys, I found that verse 8 through 15 is referencing a future exodus. Um, and in that future exodus, God is going to defeat evil. He's going to bring justice and he's going to rescue the oppressed and innocent. Um, and so with that being said, we are finding that the past is going to meet the future as well. So when in a way that old saying history repeats itself is true history is going to repeat itself with god, when god comes again and he lifts everybody back up um again like i said it's going to be really short that's really all i have um again just keep your faith trust in god and he will come again to bring justice and defeat evil. Um, I am going to end in prayer. Uh, but also before that, I want to mention, don't forget we have a game night tomorrow night. Um, let myself, Jess, Matt, Ron, Becca, let us know if you're going, if you'd like to participate. Um, as far as I know, we are planning on doing um, a lot of the games that we've done previously. Um, maybe we'll mix it up a little bit, but we'll use the same platform. Um, so just let us know if you're interested. Um, also, before I do pray, if you have any prayer requests, let us know. And that way on our next Devos or even on a Takeover Tuesday, we can address those and uh, pray for you and let everyone else know what prayer requests you may have. Um, with that being said, let me start. Okay. Dear God, thank you for bringing us all here tonight. Thank you for your judgment on the world and the mercy that you bring us. Thank you for the plans that you have for us coming in the future and for our current um, states. I pray that this coming Sunday, um, people will be safe and that um, everyone will be able to come to church and join together um, while still keeping respectable distances um, due to ongoing coronavirus um, concerns. I pray that everyone will come back and next week and we'll be able to hear from Becca um, regarding the last bit of Habakkuk and 
what else you have in store for us. Amen. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow night.